All right, so let me show you how to successfully trade violence for money or money for violence, okay? How you can get out of anything with money, all right? I'm going to tell you some stories today, and I'm going to give you some scriptures. What do I mean by trading violence for money? Well, the scripture says the following. A feast is made for laughter, and wine make it merry, but money answereth all things. Have you guys ever been, you know, uh, bullied or somebody was trying to get at you, and they were trying to hurt you or whatever, but then you bribed them with some money and they left you alone. Or how about you were in court for something that you thought you were about to go to jail for, and then you say, well, if I pay this amount, will you leave me alone? And they let you go. Same thing with the IRS. Instead of the IRS kicking in the dough, waving the fofo, you can pay them off and they'll leave you alone. If you don't do that, it's jail time, right? So this scripture proves that must money answers all things. I'm going to get you a couple more scriptures as well. So what do you guys think? Tell me. <clears throat> so when it says answer is all things, it's talking about the basics, guys. Uh, of course, uh, if you have no power with that money and if you have no wisdom with that money, then money doesn't mean anything. Money can't help you. So I did a video a little second ago. I linked to it where I was talking about money doesn't exist. Only power does. So that's what I mean. If you don't have wisdom and power with the money, then it doesn't mean anything. It's certain clubs that you can't get in without money. I mean, without power, even if you have the money, it's certain crimes that you can't get off for. Uh, if you have no power, but you have the money. For instance, we got R. Kelly. We got uh, uh, freaking uh, what is his name? Uh, oh, not even not even OJ. But we had um, R. Kelly. We got Bill Cosby. We got the girl over there across seas. We got the dudes, the rappers down there. You know, the rappers are always getting locked up, proving that they don't have no power, but they do have money. So money isn't. It's not saying that money, money answereth all things like that. It's basically saying money is a defense for for most things. Money, uh, you can use money to pay things off. OK, so we're going to go to another scripture. <clears throat> and this is, uh, I believe, is Ecclesiastes 7 and 2, 7 and 12. OK, money is a defense. OK, so, yes, that's Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. OK, so check this out. <clears throat> it says for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. And that's what I was talking about a second ago. When I was saying that it, you can have money, but if you don't have wisdom or power with it, you know, it, the scripture says his people is destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So <laughs> you can have money, but if you're a dummy and you don't have power, then your money isn't going to help you at all. OK, so for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. So meaning if you have wisdom and money, if you got knowledge, wisdom, money all together, then you can get through anything. OK, so why do you think the people with the most money try to hire the wisest lawyers or the people that can pull the most strings and have power? Because they know that just having money alone is you can be you can have all this money, but then hire some bum lawyer and and still go to jail. So the people with the most money, they try to hire the smartest people or the most powerful people because power and wisdom is stronger than money. But if you combine the three, then you can get off of anything.